They say necessity is the mother of invention, and nowhere is that more true than in war. Guys, I'm Paul, U.S. Army combat veteran, and today we are going to be taking a look at more leaked combat footage from Ukraine. This is showing how Ukrainian armed forces are improvising their own drone-based weapon systems. Let's get into it. And one quick thing before we crack into it too much, uh, no, no veteran creator has ever gone from 100,000 to a million subscribers in a year, but I think I can be the first to do it. Please hit that subscribe button. Okay, gotta love the fact that they dropped some, some uh, music in here. Uh, I, I don't actually know if it's copyrighted. Hope, hopefully, hopefully it isn't. Um, Okay, so right now it looks like the drone is doing some reconnaissance work. I'm actually going to mute this just in case. You can see here is a uh, dismounted infantry looking very casual. I always kind of wonder about the... I mean, I guess these guys think are like, hey, we're behind the lines. And here is maybe a fighting position, but this honestly just looks like a pile of debris. So they zoom in on him. Okay, so he does look like he's carrying a weapon. All right, so now they're putting together this drone, right? They've done their re their recon, and now they are going to launch their mission. But what's interesting is this looks kind of like it might be a looks like an honestly an anti personnel mine. So I'm curious to know how mechanically this would work. I can see how it would be carried, right? But this is is. I'm just curious if they hope that just the impact will jostle it, since that's sort of how an anti-personnel mine will work, right? A, a foot just sort of kicks it, um, or a person steps on it, and it just sets it off, and that the act of it hitting the ground is going to set it off. I'm, I'm really not sure. Again, this is just set to edgy music. All right, they've lit, written a message for them, and you can see here is the drone control area, right? You've got the drone operator, which is so interesting to me. This is actually more fascinating than anything else, right? Is that, you know, in, in the First World War, right, machine gunner as, or a machine gunner as a role became its own distinct uh, um battlefield function and then over time right by the time you got to say like the vietnam war the idea of the machine gunner um or the automatic rifleman was a designated role within a squad just like an rto a radio telephone operator was a designated role within a squad and as time has gone on we've seen the infantry squad become expected to do more and have different roles and use their technology in different ways. And right now we're seeing, again, the necessities of the battlefield are making it such that the uh, drone operator is actually its own role on the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they've launched the drone, right? And they are observing its flight path. It looks like they may also... Yeah, this actually looks like it might be a military grade drone since I you you don't usually see commercial drones have a suitcase. So it's moving towards the location where they saw the target and it you can see it looks like it's almost starting to lose its connection. Um could be a function of some sort of countermeasure by Russian forces. I think it's going after not the personnel, right? Since personnel are they can move and are hard to target, but I think it's going after the pile of equipment. So it's going to where it thinks the equipment is and comes right down there within just a couple of seconds, right? And of course, the reason it's not showing it is because, of course, uh, the Ukrainian, uh, uh, sorry, the YouTube algorithm is clear that they do not want uh, us to show the actual moment of impact. So it doesn't YouTube censors. Um, but let's see if we can figure out uh let's check take a look is this actually a soviet air era anti-personnel mine i sort of suspect the answer is yes though let's take a look okay here is a list of some anti-personnel landmines used by the soviets do we see our friend here oh here it is scat it's a scatterable it's a scatterable uh mine yeah that looks that looks just about right let's take a look here yeah it's got this fuse here it looks like a scatterable mine, maybe without its fuses. That's my guess. It's called what a POC 28. 
see if we can get some more details here. Looks like it could be, yeah, a POM2S. Scatterable tripwire mine. Interesting. So this was meant to be dropped out of aircraft. And maybe that's what they're doing here. Maybe they are literally dropping a tripwire mine, not with the intention of having it detonate when it hits the target, but saying, hey, we know that an enemy was here, and now we are going to drop this mine right at the entrance of or exit of his fighting position, locking him in there, right? Let's see if we can find it. POM uh, S2 mine. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe not. This doesn't look quite well. Let's see. This is, could it be this? What do you guys think? Is it this POM2? I think it's not quite right. Okay, but nonetheless, hopefully that gives us a little bit of a look at uh, you know what we might be talking about here in terms of how Ukrainian forces are improvising their own uh, weapons in this war. Anyway, guys, if you want access to the combat videos that are... I cannot show you. YouTube censors absolutely have cracked down on. You want to become a member of the Patreon. I drop a couple new breakdowns. Uh, usually every two weeks, I do like a four video set of breakdowns. Uh, thanks to my lieutenant tier patrons. You guys make this possible. I'll see you all in the next one.